Welcome back. Here's the second half of our interview with Univision anchor Jorge Ramos, the part where he gives up and admits I'm right. Ha, ah, just kidding. Watch. Get back to the point that you were making a minute ago, that Americans have no right to be concerned about the dramatic demographic change taking place in their country. Let me just stipulate, I'm for getting along, I'm for colorblindness, I'm for tolerance, 100%. But I also think that if things radically change in your country, it's okay for you to say, what is this? And maybe I don't want to live in a country that looks nothing like the country I grew up in. Is that bigoted? It seems to me in Mexico you'd be allowed to say that. Well, we have, we have to understand that there's a demographic uh, wave or revolution, if you want to call it, uh, happening right here in the United States. Uh, right now there are about 60 million Latinos. In about 35 years there's going to be 100 million Latinos. One in three is going to be a Latino. So there's a, a demographic revolution or a Latino revolution going on. Now, on the other hand, if you are implying that there's an invasion to the United States, that is I'm not true. saying invasion. In the last, I'm, in the I'm last, saying the you're name years, calling. Wait, you, you come to this country, you make a ton of money, and then you, you yell at people who say, well, wait a second. You know, mm -hmm. this is having an effect on, on my kids' school, on my culture, on the economy. And your point is you're not allowed well, actually, to have that opinion. Actually, that is not true. It's, it's obviously it's having an impact, but it's having a positive impact. Yeah, in some ways uh, it is, most, but not at all. No, no, no. And over, overall, overall, there's an immigration surplus. Uh, all immigrants contribute about $2 billion to the economy of the United States. In other yeah. words, uh, immigrants contribute and put much more money into the system than what they take out in social services, according to the National Academy of Sciences. In 20 years, it's been $54 billion in input on okay. immigration well, surplus. Well, so, well, so it is well, a great business the, to have immigrants the, in this country. The, those numbers aren't exactly right, but I think some immigrants contribute no, a lot. No, some immigrants contribute a lot. The, and, the and National Academy that. of Sciences, right. those, are, it. it's, those it's are the numbers. It's a little more complicated than that, but I don't want to debate that right now. I just want to make the point that there is a downside as well. There's clearly an upside, and we all recognize that people like immigrants actually in America, despite your claims, they do. But there's also a downside. 15% of federal inmates, prisoners, are Mexican citizens. So, like, why shouldn't I be allowed to say that's a problem? I don't want those. I don't want well, criminals I, I, here I, from another actually, country. That's, that's, precisely, even no, that's, that's precisely the problem because you, you, like Donald Trump, are also criminalizing the immigrant population. That is not true. Not criminalizing this is, this is them. Important. I'm noting a of fact not. of who they are. It is not true. The, this, these are the facts. 97% of undocumented immigrants, 97% are good people. Less than, I, I 3%, less than 3% are bad hombres or they committed a, a felony, according you're to dodging, the uh, you're dodging Migration my point. Policy I'm Institute. Hold on, hold on. So I'm not disagreeing with you at all. Majority, I, okay. The vast majority okay. talker right. are good people. But They're not me, criminals. Just, I'm not arguing that the vast majority are criminals. Now, their presence here illegally is a crime, and I think they should... Uh, we should be honest about that, but mo most are decent people. I agree, and most Americans agree. Most but 15, of them. Fifteen percent of all federal inmates in America are Mexican citizens. That's not a small number. That's many, 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 many thousands. Doesn't mean they're uh, all what, bad. What's it means your, those, what's that's your a source? big number. I, I don't know what's your source. I'm giving you my source. My source is the Bureau Immigration of Policy Institute. How's that? Well, um, I, I don't know if that's, if that's okay. correct. So you don't actually know anything that, about this. No, so that, that, that's no, what, my what complaint I'm saying here. Is that, You're again, making generalizations that are not rooted in no, fact. No, no, this is, this is the important thing, Tucker. Three percent, less than three percent of okay. undocumented immigrants commit felonies. In contrast, about six percent of Americans commit felonies. In other words, okay. um, the more than immigrants that you have, yeah, you, the more you, immigrants you, you that you have. You made that point at the outset. So the let, let me just ask you, you one last question. We're almost out of time, sure. and you don't have command of these numbers, so it's pointless. But let me ask you this, a theoretical question. What immigration restrictions would you favor in Mexico? It's already a felony to, to be there illegally, but. What further restrictions in the country of Mexico, the country of your birth, would you favor? Mexico is a terrible example for the protection of immigrants. Mexico treats Central American immigrants in a terrible way. So I wouldn't put Mexico as an example. I think um, countries should be judged by the way they treat the most vulnerable, not the most powerful. And Mexico is doing a horrible job when it comes to human rights and when it comes to treating Central Americans. On the other hand, here in the United States, I think we, we have the responsibility to treat immigrants in a decent, in a humane way. Um, we are responsible partly because of that. Uh, they come here, undocumented immigrants, because there are thousands of American companies who hire them, and millions of Americans, including you and me and the audience, who benefit from their work. So I think we have the right and the responsibility to treat them much better than the way they treat them in Mexico. Let, let me just ask you really quickly. Will you just sure. acknowledge the truth, which, and you're obviously a very rich person, and I, you know, I'm around rich people a lot. 
Rich people in America disproportionately benefit from low-wage, low-skilled immigration in the form of household help, in the form of cheap labor. Let's be totally honest. The middle of the country doesn't benefit a lot from this. It lowers wages. They don't hire a lot of household help. And there is a lot of crime, whether you're willing to admit it or not. So why there's are they bigots for No, no, there's, there's not a lot of crime. Because right, look, you, that's, you don't that's actually that, so let's, just, let's that's, just pretend that's that I didn't say news. that that's, because it's a stupid uh, argument. Donald but, Trump is the, the king of okay. fake news when it comes to uh, okay, right, uh, undocumented okay, I, I've heard the talking it, points. It but, is, but, but let me just get back to the economics of it. It doesn't sure. actually help an American citizen born here making 40 grand a year to have a bunch of people willing to work for 25 grand a year move into his town. Will you concede that? No. Uh, there's a minimum impact on. No, there's a. You can laugh if you want, but that's not the I truth. Am. Because you're laughing, that doesn't mean it is the truth. Check the National Academy of Sciences. There's an okay. immigration surplus. In overall, immigrants contribute much more to the economy than right. what they take away in the equation in social services. Those are the facts. Some people might be affected, but overall, which is what we care about, overall, yes. they have a, a positive impact. Okay. Jorge Ramos, thanks all for joining us. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks.